Fuck me. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to. 12 Brilliant Underrated Dystopian Movies for Mad Max Fans When the first movie in the Mad Max franchise released in the year 1979, it immediately became a raging hit with the audience. Mel Gibson made his presence felt with some extraordinary acting in the role of Max. The success created a frenzy among the makers to replicate the genre. Then came a flurry of movies that appealed to the audience with a setup that involved a post-apocalyptic world. Things are in ruins and the few survivors struggle for existence battling some evil personalities. All such movies were set in a dystopian world with a harsh climate and sand everywhere. There have been some classics in this genre. These movies may not have set the box office on fire, but with time, they were appreciated for their content. Here in this video, we have put together a list of some of the finest movies in this genre that are sure to blow your mind. So sit back and enjoy a ride into a dystopian, imaginative world. Before we go into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click from you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you, and let's begin. Gripping Narrative I'm a cyborg. Cyborg 1989 Cyborg is a movie that is ripe with an entertaining plot. The premise is that of an apocalyptic world that is threatened with a deadly disease. As humans are faced with extinction, the cure lies in the hands of a cyborg. A mercenary is assigned the crucial task of ensuring her safety as she takes the cure to scientists in Atlanta. The evil warlord is threatened by peace and the prospects of the cyborg reaching her destination is against his interests. You will watch with bated breath as the mercenary battles the evil forces to ensure a safe passage. The movie has a breathtaking storyline and is criminally underrated. The epic fight scenes with tension throughout the movie make this a must watch. Deborah Richter, Van Damme, and Haley Peterson are appropriate in their respective roles. The cinematography deserves a special mention, as does the terrific background score. If you are up for some fun time, this movie can be just the thing you're looking for. Night of the Comet 1984 This movie is a fine instance of how science fiction can be fused with horror to deliver a suspenseful thriller. The story concerns two teenage sisters who manage to survive a zombie apocalypse. As they struggle to keep themselves alive from the undead, they're faced with another threat. Some selfish scientists are tracking them too as they want to experiment with their bodies to invent an antidote. The two sisters are joined by another survivor as they try to stay safe from both the threats to their lives. Tom Eberhardt's direction ensures a nail-biting suspense throughout the movie. He has been helped with some quality acting performances by the likes of Catherine May Stewart, Robert Beltran, and Kelly Maroney. The malevolent atmosphere, the eerie backdrop, and the scary moments are sure to get your nerves. These are moments of quirky humor in the movie that adds to the charm of the otherwise scary plot. The movie is an underrated gem that will ensure a great viewing for you. The Road 2009 Imagine cannibals trying to get you and you must evade them to reach safety. That is precisely the plot of this movie which induces a few shudders as you watch it. A father must keep himself and his son safe from cannibals who are roaming free. They have to head southward until they reach a hospitable and safe environment. But their journey is marred with threats that come in all forms. The story is thought-provoking and heart-wrenching. The cast of reputed actors like Charlize Theron, Viggo Mortensen, and the supporting actors make this movie better. John Hillcote does a fantastic job with the direction which ensures the omission of any dull moment in the movie. The dystopian future that is projected in the movie might come across as remarkably eerie. The movie offers somewhat of an intellectual stimulation that does appeal to people. A Boy and His Dog 1975 An interesting story is what makes this movie so special. A young boy is accompanied by his dog as he travels through an apocalyptic desert. During their journey, they encounter an underground community. The daughter of the community's leader lures him amongst them by seducing him, but a nasty surprise awaits him as soon as he realizes that he is simply a tool for them to procreate mechanically. 
His only hope of escaping the situation rests on his dog. Can the duo find their way to freedom? The storyline is undoubtedly strange, but does have the ingredients to draw your attention. Don Johnson is appropriate in his role as the protagonist young boy. Suzanne Benton deserves a special mention for her brilliant acting as the seductive lady. The movie was ahead of its time both in terms of the story and the setting. The underground society has a satirical presentation, and the overall tone of the movie is shrouded in mystery. In short, this is one hidden gem in the world of science fiction, and is something that you must try out. The Divine 2011 We have all imagined a nuclear disaster in our heads. The movie The Divide literally takes a cue from your worst nightmare and shows it to you. It tells the story of nine strangers who survive a nuclear attack by being in an underground bunker in their New York apartment. But their survival is short-lived with the supplies running thin and tempers flaring. It does not take long before they turn on each other and you watch with bated breath as a lone survivor hangs on to dear life. First things first, the movie is not for everyone to enjoy and certainly not for children. There are elements of violence and sexuality that compromise the disturbing storyline, but the psychological horror is well written with some crazy characters. Xavier Jen's direction adds color to the movie, and the acting performances by the likes of Lauren German, Michael Bean, Milo Ventimiglia, etc. make it realistic. The movie is not for the faint-hearted, but as long as you can digest the premise, you are in for a real entertainer. The world is ruled by evil dictators, but their authority is about to be challenged. A man equipped with some extraordinary martial arts secrets takes them on. He is aided by an expert and two children as the team go about their mission. Their opponents are a threat to humanity, and just to add to the twist, they have also kidnapped the protagonist's lover. In a nutshell, you have an absolute entertainer at hand. The anime is executed with finesse and class, the thrills that the movie provides, besides offering the charm of an adventure rife with action. There are substantial everything that you look for in a pot boiler, and there's no reason that you won't enjoy this remarkable movie. Stalker 1979 Imagine a place that can grant you pretty much anything that you seek. The room is such a region in this movie that is supposedly the magical place, but there's a catch. It is located in a fiercely protected area, the zone. This is a wasteland and a post-apocalyptic world where there are no means to reach. And just to add to the already existing problems, those willing to reach there must also worry about the mutant child in the region. A guy takes two men who are willing to risk everything to get to that room. Andrei Tarkovsky is no stranger to classics and has directed many in his lifetime. This movie is yet another feather in his cap as he manages to strike interest into the hearts of the viewers with this beautifully written story. The characters of the two men who venture into the region are interesting, and so are that of the guide who lures them inside. The acting performances are noteworthy, which will spike the fear factor in you. You ought to be an attentive viewer to enjoy the movie. It's the Desert Pong! <laughs> Desert Punk 2004 Anime Animes have never ceased to awe the audience with their unique concepts. Desert Punk stops at nothing less as the makers provide you with the premise of a post-apocalyptic world where Japan is a desert. The humans fight for survival in this wasteland, and amongst them is a bounty hunter. His character is almost invincible, but he does have one chink in his armor, a weakness for the opposite sex. One of the first things that will draw your attention is the incredible character of the bounty hunter. He is obsessive and callous at the same time, but he never stops short of his goals. There is a great diversity amongst the characters as they diverge from the usual norms of anime. The music used in the series is a perfect fit to the storyline. Even though the movie is set in a dystopian world, the comedy elements never let the plot take itself too seriously, and that is actually the strength of this anime series. In short, this might be a lesser known content, but it is a hidden gem that you ought to check out. Turbo Kid 2015 Who doesn't love the idea of an underdog fighting the mighty evil? Turbo Kid has a protagonist who is willing to risk everything in his fight against the ruthless warlord. The young boy is an avid comic book fan, and when the time comes for him to act like his hero in the comics, he steps up. He has to rescue his love interest from the clutches of the evil warlord. The movie has a post-apocalyptic setup that adds to the ambience of suspense. The story is nicely constructed and has elements of violence and gore. 
Monroe Chambers stuns in his role as the young boy taking on the warlord. Lorenz Labouf, who plays his love interest, also does justice to her role. The way the characters grow through the movie is praiseworthy. Equally appealing is how the makers consciously mimic the cheesy feel of the action movies from the 80s.